My name is Sunday Ojengen and I will be looking at OSI versus TCP IP layers or models. So basically on the screen you can see we have two models, the OSI model which stands for Open System Interconnect Model and the TCP IP which is Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol Model. Now let's take the OSI model first. Now you can see we have different layers ranging from physical to application bottom up. Now, I, I used to tell my student this, it's actually very important that you know and note how these things are placed, you don't just mix them up. You know, starting from the bottom top, you could actually memorize it in such a way that you don't forget. You can say, please do not throw sausage pizza away. Please do not throw sausage pizza away. So with this, basically, the OSI model works from bottom top and each of the layers are very important towards the internet or with the network architecture. Actually, OSI has been there before the inception of the TCP IP. But due to complexity and simplicity, I mean, you know, nobody wants complexity and nobody wants to stick to seven layers when you can make do with about four layers here. So let's look at the various functionalities of these layers. Now from physical, what does physical layer does? What does it depict in OSI model? Now imagine you have a computer system with a card, maybe a weak card or a LAN card. Basically you should have an Ethernet port. Now when you connect your cable towards this port, there should be an indication if this port is up or if this port is down. That is actually the physical connectivity for that device. So your physical connectivity to any device with the indication of if the connectivity is up or not describes your physical layer. And basically you can say things like the one, the Ethernet cable, that actually describes what physical layer for OSI model is. Now going up you can find the data link. For data link you can say it's the MAC address la layer or the Ethernet address layer that actually determines the MAC address of any device on the network that you want to communicate with or the device you are connected to. Now the 48-bit MAC address is actually final data link. But something is very interesting here I want you guys to note. Between the data link and oh sorry between the data link and the physical link you have what is known as the link logical control and also the MAC address. Now, from here down towards the physical makes up the MAC address. And you have the LLC just between here to here. The half of data link actually makes up the LLC, which is the, log the link logical control. So going up, you see we have the network. And the network head actually describes the internet protocol address where we are looking at for destination or where we're coming from for source. Now from here, it talks about the IP addresses of either any device or network nodes we are about to reach or we can talk of your own device itself. So now from here, we'll move on to the transport layer. Transport layer actually determines what means of transport are you using. Is it a reliable transport? Is it an unreliable transport? Is it a session or a session? Basically, here we are looking at the TCP mode of transport or the UDP. Now, it's worth it to note that for every TCP mode of connectivity or for every TCP mode of transport, it is very reliable. And for UDP, which is user datagram packet, is unreliable. And for that, it is sectionless because it sends and it doesn't care if it delivers or not. Now, session layer is a layer that actually describes the number of sessions that you are actively involved in. I mean, we can use your browser, you know, for instance, using Google Chrome browser, for example, you have several tabs open. Now, for every tab, describes a session. For every connectivity you open towards a request, makes a session. So, for each time you open and close this, it describes a session that you have for an OSI model. Now you go up, you can find the presentation layer. The presentation layer is not far from what you can see, even on my board, this is actually like a presentation. Yeah, but you know, it, it's a little bit different from maybe when you solve the internet because then you actually make a request and based on what you are receiving, the presentation of what you have on your screen or your screen background or the output or whatever thing you've requested actually describes your presentation layer for the OSI model. Now the application layer 
is the protocol type you are using or the application type you are using to make this request it could be either http https ftp it could be any of those things those things actually describe the application now in a layman term i would like to summarize this in one example assuming you connect your laptop you boot up your laptop and you, you want to connect to the LAN, to the local area network that takes you out to the internet. Now, first of all, you need to plug in your cable. That process describes the physical layer of the OSI model. Now, when you plug in your cable, the cable or the network have to learn your device. Now, how does it do that? It sends an app message, ARP, Address Resolution Protocol message, and it learns your MAC address that takes place at data link layer. Now, it depends on how you are connecting, is it via DHCP or a static mode of IP address. If it is via DHCP, when it learns your MAC address as data link uh, or the network link, basically it assigns you an IP address. Now, this takes place at the network layer of the OSI model. Now, depending on the kind of connectivity you want to do, is it a TCP, is it a UDP, what do you want to do? You want to send a mail, you want to play a game, you want to solve the internet, I mean, depending on the activity you want to do on the internet, it determines the transport mean. But like I said, TCP is reliable, UDP is unreliable. Now, everything is working fine, I need to go to google.com and then next you type www.google.com. Now you are creating a session because you are actually making a request to open google.com now the section pops up and next you see welcome to google the section is already open now the presentation or for whatever thing you see on your screen if it is google home page some other home page that shows the presentation now what do you use in opening this google.com is it an http is it an https basically that describes the application model but i mean these are a whole lot of layers one to seven and you get bored at the point in time you keep on thinking do i need to go through all this process just to open a google page now that was where tcp ip was actually introduced tcp ip which stands for transmission control protocol internet protocol layer it has actually consolidated these seven layers of the OSI model into just four layers. Now, as you can see, from the social layer towards the application layer, everything has been consolidated to just application layer. But I mean, the concept is this. The same concept between session, presentation, and application still happens within the application, just that the layers, the three layers, has been consolidated to one. Now, the transport layer remains transport, and then the network layer now we call internetwork, and the data link physical layer remains the link and physical layer which we call network access layer. Okay, now let's look at the relationship and let's see how it has been streamlined and we can actually make the difference and see what difference it makes from the two. Now, this shows OSI versus TCP IP layer. Now, we can see the way it has been streamlined. Like I said earlier, 567 has been consolidated to just one layer known as the application layer. Now, let's go from bottom up again. The physical and the data link layer is now known as the network access layer. Now, the network access layer basically is not far from what I described earlier. It describes how you connect your device the first connectivity, either a cable connectivity, you are trying to connect via WAN, that is an access. You are trying to get an access to the network. That, to a layman term, you are just trying to get an access to something. And what we are looking at, you are looking at the network. So you trying to access the networks, we basically call that network access. Now going forward, we have the internet. Instead of the network, we are having it replaced by the internet. And then followed by the transport and like i said transport remains the same it depends on what you want to do then to application layer so i would like us to actually see and understand that it's not as if we've changed anything on these layers but basically it has been simplified and it's no more complex like osi model i mean it's it's just evolving the osi layer evolved to tcp ip layer so i know you've learned one or two things from this video and uh, i want you to subscribe so that you can get more of this thank you